Uh, for everybody that was at the game, uh, here's how I'm describing it. Exhausting, right? You you were there forever. There was an hour and 45 minute rain delay. Uh, and then it, it, it just, it, it was exhausting, right? It's one of those games where you, it felt like you watched the defense get tired, right? You, it, it felt like the offense was, was having a hard time getting things rolling from the very beginning and the defense was hanging, keeping you in it. And then the defense got tired and it was, it was just time and time and time again. So let's focus on the offense for a second. By the way, I give the defense a lot of credit. We'll talk about them individually because it, it does feel like there needs to be a dividing line between the two. What does the NC State offense do? What do they hang their hat on? That's that's the question I have after that game. When you need a play, right? When you absolutely need a good play, what do you lean on? Who do you turn to? Is it the pass game? Do you look at do you look at Brennan Armstrong and say, I'm going to need you to get through a progression, find the open guy? Is it the run game? Do you look at Jordan Houston and say, make a play? Is it the quarterback run game? Because that wasn't working in this one like it was against UConn. It, like, like, is there a one uh, number one wide receiver? Do you look to Lassane? Do you look to Concepcion? Do you look to somebody? When you when, when you need a play. Right, I'm talking your defense just was on the field for 12 plays, but they they held and gave up a field goal. You're losing momentum, but it's not lost yet. And your offense goes out onto the field, and you know, like we we've got this series, maybe one more to make a play to get some energy back on our on our sideline. Who are you looking at? And if you can't answer that question, you have nothing. If you can't answer that question. The problems are bigger than than you think. The passing game, I actually think the passing game was kind of encapsulated by the second series. Okay? Uh, they get to a second down. Second series of the game, still very much in, right? Like the, the defense had just really really bot- bottled up uh, Notre Dame. It was the, the second offensive series for NC State. Armstrong on a bubble, just a, a little bubble. Um, my old quarterback coach used to say you shouldn't even get credit for this completion on bubbles and short screens mm-hmm. it's, it's a long handoff but you're you're but you're boosting your completion percentage way to go uh he threw it into the ground terrible ball happens right now you want that that bounce back thing right you, okay do it slip what did you, you you didn't get your feet right okay next play i need you to bounce back armstrong does does just that throws a great seam ball to uh to number four porter rooks wide receiver couldn't make the play in the hands out of the hands why defensive player on his back but a play you have to make that's what the passing game looked like right it was uh when the receivers are there ready to make a play armstrong wasn't getting it to him when armstrong was there ready to make a play the ball was going through their hands when nobody was there to make a play it ended up a catastrophe like it, it just never lined up and i'm sitting here going what do you do there were interceptions that were bad decisions, interceptions that were good decisions and bounced off wide receivers' hands. Like, what do you do? Brennan Armstrong in the past, uh, at least I, the, the only other game they played, UConn, you could tell about halfway through, he goes, all right, the thing we do is I run. The thing we do is I drop back, I don't like what I see, and I tuck it and run. And, and he made it work. It wasn't working against Notre Dame. Running the ball wasn't as effective with a team that that had better pursuit and, all, quite honestly, hit a lot harder once they got to him. Running game, 30 carries, 84 yards, 2.8 yards per carry. Fine with the sacks and everything. It's hard to judge. What, what scares me is longest rush, 13 yards. I'm still waiting for the first explosive play from this offense. Here's Dave Doran evaluating his quarterback's performance. Yeah, you know, it's hard when you look at a stat line to really understand how a guy played and, and obviously how guys play with your quarterback matters too. Um, and I know the players that had the ball hit him in the hands that ricochet up and end up being interceptions would tell you that that's on them. Um, and then there's another play where he was a little late on an end break and route and their DB stepped in front and made a nice play, you know. But when you're down two possessions – or two scores or three scores, you're pressing a little bit, you know, and, and trust me, our game plan wasn't to be in that situation, you know, at that time. I think when you get down and if you study 
takeaways on defense. Most of them happen in, in two minute situations, third and longs. And so I look forward to studying the tape. Clearly, there's a lot of things that Brennan will tell you and, and his coaches will tell you he can do better and he will. What I'd see, I, I, the thing I don't love about that response is you weren't down two or three scores for a long Your defense held you in it for a long part of the game. The state defense was out there to use a goalie term standing on their head. Yeah. Right. Sometimes they bent but didn't break. Sometimes they muscled them. Sometimes they uh I mean the first couple series it was it was dramatic. Davin Van catching the guy on the screen out there and putting his face mask into his chest. There were like highlight plays. And and Peyton Wilson all over the place. Your like, defense was doing its job. It wasn't like like the Giants last night where they were down 16 nothing at the blink of a uh, a hat right at the, or at the the drop of a hat right at the beginning of the game. It wasn't that. You had your time to run your offense the way you want to run your offense without pressing. And I, do you know what I wasn't expecting because I don't necessarily remember this during his time at Virginia. I knew he didn't have like a cannon. Brennan Armstrong's arm strength. We we got to look into this. There were a couple of throws where he made good on-time decisions, let it rip, and the ball just kind of fizzled on him, just just died a little bit at the end. The, the Hail Mary at the end of half didn't reach. You'd hope that's because he's on the move and not because he can't throw it 50 yards. But but little little bit of your receivers won't always be on those timing routes. Sometimes you got to step up and make a, you know, a, a from hash to opposite, opposite sideline throw. Some questions about this offense. That's that's the nice way to put it. Some questions about the offense. Defense won't be able to keep you in it all the time. 